All right. So, Darcy and I have been in this classroom all day today and all day yesterday filming the Mason Stain Magic that she does, the Mason Stain Magic that she does. <laughs> and, but I had told Samantha that I was going to answer a question for her about how to bend a wire over a very high dome. I don't have a blank prep, but I'm going to pretend like the spoon is my blank. So you can see if you look at that profile of the spoon, what a high dome that is, and then of course it's a little lower that direction. So I'm going to bend, I'm going to bend this to come across here like this. And <laughs> forget that. And, uh, and then come across there like that. So, uh, so that I'll be coming across the highest part of the dome and then um, turning and going across a lower area of the dome. So let me show you what, how I would do that. So I've got some cloisonne wire here and I'm gonna make this follow this shape of the dome by taking my wire and stretching it between my fingers like this to create the, um, <clears throat> the curvature of that dome. So I have some little crumples in this um, so I don't want those crumples. I want this to be pretty smooth. There it is. It's pretty smooth. <clears throat> but you can see now that the whole wire has some curvature to it. <clears throat> so I'm going to take that wire and I'm going to look at this curvature. Um, if you look at that like that you can see this is still not curved enough to sit exactly on there <clears throat> so i'm stretching it a little bit more here trying to get myself a pretty pretty serious uh curvature in here and take out all the little little ripples <clears throat> Okay, so it looks pretty good to this point right here, and then it almost is too curved, so, so I'm going to straighten that out a little bit. Okay. Put this back on here. All right. <clears throat> that looks pretty good. So now, on this part of the spoon, there isn't nearly as much uh, curvature, but there's some, so I'm going to add a little curvature to that section of, spoon, of uh, wire. And then I'm going to, that looks pretty good. All right, so now, I'm, Okay, so I'm gonna bend, I'm gonna bend this bend here. And come around. <clears throat> Am I on camera? Yep, you're good.
Okay, now I'm going to get a little gum solution on this. There. How's that for genius? So when this gets dry, I actually will be able to show you how, how close to the curvature that wire is everywhere. Um, but you, you see, the, the whole trick to that was, was creating a curvature in the wire um, that fit the dome before I started shaping it to fit the piece. So I hope you find that helpful. All right.